this because I hope you do so you can see me when I'm famous and older and remember me of this beautiful little girl. Despite the varying opinions of her as a person, Kim Kardashian's past has been largely built on the controversy and conversations surrounding her family. However, no matter one's opinions, her fame is still significantly representative of our ideals and aspirations in pop culture. Kim Kardashian is the definition of a pop culture icon, no matter what she does next. Kim rules the soft power of how women do their makeup, what's in style, and what fashion designers do next. She may not influence every corner of pop culture, but she definitely plays a huge part in what we value. However, without undermining the Kardashians' unfathomable successes, a countlessly Googled question remains. Why are the Kardashians famous? Without turning this into a biography, the Kardashians are presumably simply famous for being famous, but there's actually a lot more to their past that built up to what they are today. The Kardashians' late father, Robert Kardashian, was an attorney for the notorious O.J. Simpson murder case in 1995, so the family has been in the spotlight since then when Kim was just 15 years old. Later on, in the early 2000s, Kim went from working as a closet cleaner and assistant for the also somehow famous Paris Hilton to when she blew up after an inappropriate video was leaked. The entire family began milking this five minutes of fame, getting their own reality TV show, countless brand endorsements, and more. Since then, Kim and the rest of her sisters have turned themselves into a household name. But how do the Kardashians, especially Kim, influence our pop culture? Without being interested in fashion beauty yourself, it could be difficult to see the perspective of her influence. But lover or hater, her worldly influence is undeniable. According to Forbes, the selfie era has birthed a new centimillionaire, and her name is Kim Kardashian. Turning her reality television antics into a personality, Kim's one of the original online influencers of the 21st century. She sold her millions of followers online games, emojis, and most recently makeup. One of Kim's more defining features, as many know, are her heavily contoured cheekbones and eyebrow game. So when everyone wants to look like Kim, why wouldn't you market it? As a society, we value trends and what's in, and what's in are the same looks that Kim's producing. When over 300,000 products of hers are sold in two hours, the market for whatever she's selling is strong. Whether people are buying her brand KKW because they love the product or because they love Kim, her influence on how people shop is strong. But why are we so enchanted? Why do we hate her yet aspire to be her? I mean, anyone can make money. Is she influential because of her business tactics or because of her social media upbringing? Do we love her as a person, or do we love the superficial realities that she produces? As a society, we value authenticity. We poke fun at the scandals and flip through pages of celebrities that are just like you. That's where the entertainment from her reality TV shows come from. We like seeing their daily lives, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We love reposting their arguments, tabloids love reporting it, and they probably enjoy putting on a show, too. It's entertainment. Then, there's the value of being different, the value of standing out. As much as we like to fit in and be considered cool, we also want to be individuals. No one wants to be a clone copy of everyone else. Since the beginning of our culture, and especially media, whether it's movies or television, celebrities have been the epitome of coolness, setting a certain standard for what we should aim to be. Whether Kim wears a latex bodycon dress or Yeezy, she's setting a trend off for high-end designers for Louis Vuitton to fast fashion factories like Fashion Nova. After all, we also point to material objects and money as a sign of success. And celebrities have that. In all, the Kardashians' family net worth hovers in the billions of dollars, and of course they're sure to flaunt it. We like to see a different kind of life on the other side of the screen. Watching Kim's five-year-old daughter flaunt a $900 kid's purse on Snapchat gives a certain kind of intrigue and fascination that's hard to put a finger on. Whether it invokes je desire, jealousy, or disgust, at least you're watching it. Kim Kardashian, as a person, influencer, and celebrity, embodies the things that we aspire to be as a society. A delicious mix of authenticity, coolness, and success that we can't get enough of. What the future holds for the Kardashian family, especially Kim, is unknown, so our values as a society change, they'll have to adapt. But for the past 25 years or so, they've done a pretty good job at it. As much as we may hate or love seeing Kim Kardashian on billboards, social media, and television, she didn't come out of thin air. Kim's built an empire. She rose from the ashes of scandals and molded herself into the seemingly perfect celebrity. 
And this wasn't on her own. She wouldn't have anything if she didn't have the followers and fans she has today. I mean, she wouldn't be who she is without the scandals and hate she has either. She's formulated things we value, the things we aim to be, and the things we're made of into a cocktail of successes. However, Kim isn't the only one to perfect this concoction. Plenty of celebrities and online influencers have also tapped into this gold mine. It's just a matter of the awareness we have for the celebrity well we seem to be stuck in. Even in David Denby's High School Confidential, notes on teen movies, he talks about the wicked princesses of teen movies, the male counterpart jocks. Kim is an embodiment of the positive aspects of the absolute worst characters, while still having the quirky aloofness of the minor ones. She has the beauty and power of the cheerleader, but the humor and eccentricity of the nerd. But, like every teen movie seems to state, although she's popular, she may not be liked, and her power is a mystery. Everyone is afraid of her, that's why she's popular. But are we afraid, or are we in awe?